Welcome back to our comprehensive guide on automating Angular applications using Selenium. If you are a developer or a QA engineer looking to streamline your testing process, you are in a right place. Today, we will tackle real world scenarios and show you how to create robust end to end test. So let's get started. First things first, let's set up our environment. You will need Node.js, the Angular CLI and Selenium web driver. Make sure they are all installed on your machine. If you want to install the Angular CLI, just open your terminal and type the command npm install minus g angular slash CLI and press enter. This would install the Angular CLI. And once Angular CLI is installed, you need to create a new project by running the command npm. Uh, ng new project name if you want to use your existing projects it's up to you and once project has been installed and opened in your editor open your terminal in the root directory of your project and then run the command npm install selenium web driver press enter So with our environment ready, let's move on to writing our first test script. So we will start with a simple test to check if our Angular apps homepage loads correctly. So let me quickly show you what my app look like right now. So it is currently running. This is the homepage that is currently empty. You can add anything in your home page. It's up to you. I'm using the router outlet to use the routing. So this is my routing file where we have two routes, contact and dynamic content. So let me show you quickly. So this is the home page. And if you open the contact page, you will see this very simple form. And if you open the dynamic content page, you will see there is a loader for a few seconds and, and it fetches data from the network from the internet and loads them into the html so let me show you quickly in the network so if you reload it again you will see that it is sending a request to the json placeholder endpoint and it returns this payload that we use to display the data on the screen let me quickly quickly show you the shape of this code so this is the basic html with the id dynamic element id and this is the code we are calling the fetch data function that fetches the data from this url by using the get method and it loads data in the data property and then we use that data property in here to show the data from that array in the html So we will start with a simple test to check if our Angular app's home page loads correctly. So for that, I will create a simple file. You can create your test file anywhere, wherever you prefer. Right now, I will just create a simple folder like, like this. I can call it E2E or whatever you prefer. And in that folder, I will create a file test home page load dot js now in this file the very first thing that i am going to import is const builder require selenium web driver we need to import other things as well like by key until okay now i will define a function async function check home page you can give it any name let driver is equal to await new builder so we are creating an instance of the builder and then we are calling a function for browser chrome and we are then calling the function build after that i will add a try catch block in the try block i will add my logic like await driver dot get 
and here i will specify the url of my web page it is currently 4200 port and you can change it whatever url is for your website and next i will use a weight driver dot weight and i am going to wait for 1000 millisecond 10000 milliseconds that are 10 seconds um, here i will check the title of my website so i will use until dot title is and pass it the string right now i will pass uh, an incorrect title and let's see if it fails or not hello world save it instead of catch i will just use the finally and here i will add a wait driver quit so at the end it will just quit the driver and at the end we will just call this function check home page so before running this file i will show you this is the title that we have in the tab in the title tag ias tag so now let's run this script so just go to the e to e folder and run this command uh, execute this file by using node space test look at this it just opened the web page it is waiting for the title hello world but it did not appear and it will time out after some time and the test will fail you will notice that it has failed with the timeout error but if you provide a correct title it will not fail and it will pass the test and it will just quit it silently now you will see that it has closed the browser very quickly because it has found the ias tech text immediately so that's why it has closed it and nothing was crashed so as you see this code initializes a new browser instance navigates to our local angular app and waits until the title of the page matches our expected title then it closes the browser angular apps are dynamic and that's mean content might load at different times let's handle this by writing a function that waits for an element to be visible before interacting with it so for that i am going to create a new file so let's create a new file touch test dynamic content.js okay the file has been created again we will have the same import by the way these uh, lines are uh, uh, these imports were not used so i will just remove it for now now copy this import paste it here and i will define my function async function test dynamic content and let's call this function at the end like this now we will create a driver let driver is equal to await new builder for browser as we are testing in the chrome so i am using the browser chrome here in this function name and we then we are calling the build function and now call the try and finally and in the finally we will just quit the driver that will close the browser and now we will open the browser with the route that we want to visit for that i will use await private.get and here i will specify the route that is dynamic content and here i will add uh, declare a variable dynamic element is equal to await driver dot wait until dot element located actually let me do that one by one so i will wait for something for around 10 seconds okay and here i will pass another parameter that is until dot element by the way we actually i removed until from here so we have to keep until 
So let me import it here as well. Until element located. So it will wait until the element is located as mentioned as obvious by the name of the function. And here I will use by. So now we need to import the by. dot id here mention the id that is dynamic element dash id okay great now we have dynamic element we can just console it and check so let me console console dot log and await dynamic element dot get text so it will wait for it for 10 seconds if everything goes well it if it finds this element because this element would appear only if there is data if data is not loaded then it will not load this element and if it is not loaded then it will be timed out and it will throw an error and the test would be failed and if it is found then it test will not be failed and it will simply console the log so now let's test it out for that run the command node test dynamic dash content dot js press enter wait for it okay you saw that it has completed the test without failing and it is showing all of the content from that element in the console that you can see but if we make some mistake for example uh, let's say the i mean even if it is not a mistake here in the test maybe there is no content that was loaded then what will happen let me show you that so here you for example i don't load data here i will just keep it empty in that way it will not load data in the data property in that way it will not load anything there it will stay like this forever so if that's the case you will notice that this element would, would never be loaded okay so let's give it a try and you will see that it will wait for 10 seconds and then it will be crashed it has opened it it is loading but it will not see any content there okay you can see that it has failed and crashed because of the timeout error because it this element was never loaded in this way we are able to find out the bugs in this component let me quickly explain few things in this so here we are using driver dot wait to delay actions until the dynamic content is fully loaded and located by its id next forms are cornerstone of a user interaction we will automate the process of filling out a form and submitting it so you know we already have a form on the route contact like this so we are going to test it so let's create another file uh touch test form submission dot js now i will add the import from here in this file as well now let's define a function and call that function next we will have try catch or try finally finally so in the finally again it will quit the driver or browser next i'm going to add a driver is equal to await new builder so this is going to be same like before for browser chrome build okay next i will open the route contact and then we will get the element by the id name so let's do that await driver dot find element give let's give it the element by dot id and here i will specify the name that is the id 
So once we get the element, we can use a function send keys. This will type something in that input. Here I will add chain do or whatever. And next I will get the element email and I will send keys jane dot do at example.com and after that I will get the message and pass the hello world text to that text area or mess input and at the end uh, I will get the submit button so you can either get it by the ID submit let me double check if we have the ID submit there this is the button we don't have the ID submit so in that case I will simply use a different kind of selector so instead of ID I will use CSS by CSS and give it the selector button and the type should be submit okay once we found that button uh, we will just call the click function that will hit the submit button and then we will uh, capture the alert that will show the success message so I, I will save it in the alert property await driver dot wait it will wait for something and the wait period is 10 seconds and it is going to be waiting for until dot alert is present so whatever alert uh, that we will get we will save it in the alert property and then we will console it await alert dot get text it will get the text from that alert and then we will call a function wait alert dot accept so we we can verify that if that alert was accepted or not so this script navigates to the contact form enters the details into each field submits the form and then handles the confirmation alert so let's give it a quick try i am going to run this code by using the node command press enter okay you can see it has filled the information and let's click ok something was uh, incorrect and it has crashed it is saying that driver is not defined so we have the driver here actually driver should be outside of the try block that's because we are trying to access in the finally block as well so let's paste it here and try it again okay now again it was failed it is saying that alert dot get text is not a function so let's see what's wrong here ever dot wait until alert actually i should have called this function this is a function that's why it was not so now let's run that file again and wait for it okay you can see this time we got the alert message in the console that we are running here and this time nothing was crashed all right you have just written selenium test for an angular application covering the basics of all the way to dynamic content and form submissions remember practice makes perfect take these examples adjust them for your applications need and watch your automated testing suite grow if you found this tutorial helpful please like share and subscribe for more content like this thanks for watching and happy testing